Hey guys, Zar here with a quick flash chat. I thought what I would do on a big sell-off day like this is to revise my zones live for you here. I get a lot of questions on the zone, so here we go. So we're in this session. Prices are, have dropped, so the opening range was here on New York. I can delete this zone right here. You see that? Gone. It's no longer relevant. This zone is no longer relevant. It's been broken. It's been closed. It's been broken again and closed. Arrow, gone. Clean traffic. But you can see it was absolutely fulfilled. This one? gone. The only one I'm concerned about now is the one that we're currently working on, which is a key zone right here. This is the 15 minute chart. So let me just get back to the 30 minute where I actually drew these zones. See that there? Now, if this candle closes below, things get interesting. Very extended to the downside. I'd be careful shorting, but there might be a setup here, depending on what your model says. So that is the NASDAQ. The zones are clean now. Next big clean traffic area below here is the one to focus on next. Um, S&P, look at this, zones got destroyed, right? So on the open, this is New York open right here. This zone is done, this zone is done, 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 done. These circles can go, that's what I was marking, the zones being met for my group, and now we're working on this one. This candle closes in 15 minutes, we'll see if it can then close below, and then we'll take it from there. When prices go back up again, we'll be looking at this ultimate stopping point here but i would be even looking right here where this break really occurred right there you see that there nice clean action and it will look something like this at that point right i'll delete that for now so i can do that real time for the group and then the dow guys same thing opening range this little tight opening range that's all of the uk session by the way and then just exploded to the downside. This arrow can go, this arrow can go, this zone can go, this zone can go. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? And then this, boom, done. This one is done as well. Now we're just focusing on this one. Guess what? This one actually closed below and then no upper wicket is now driving down. I'm not gonna mark anything else here, but I will be watching this to see where prices take us from here. Uh, let's take a look at the Russell too, guys. I just added the Russell to the rotation today. Why don't we take a look at that as well? Zone gone. My program just uh, froze. Oh, I'm trying to delete that. I'm gonna put you on pause for one second. Okay, we're back on froze. And now gone, gone. This is the, um, the Russell, as I mentioned, those little circles can go. And now this is the zone we're working on. But what happens below here? Let's just clean up this mess, shall we? Down here is when things get really interesting, right? So you can see by that dotted line, that's where prices currently are. So it gives me an idea of what to look for here. Ultimately, the bottom is right here. This goes back to March, right? We're currently in May, May 2nd today. And that's all I'm gonna do for that right now, bring you back to the current uh, period. I'm gonna draw an arrow here for a relatively clean traffic zone again. And look at this thing drop. We're down 2.7% on the Russell 2000 today, one and a half percent on the rest, basically. All right, guys, thanks for being with me. Zone revisions, very important during the session. Now it's nice and clean. You can get a better and cleaner perspective. Have an amazing day.